particular, and it strikes me as noteworthy that, for example, in Turkey, the Christian population of the nation in 1914 was 19 percent, and then following the First World War and Armenian Genocide, it dropped to 2.5 percent in 1927 to today, where it's at 0 0.2 percent, two-tenths of 1 percent, and we see the same thing mirroring itself. About 10 days ago, I got off an airplane from uh, Khartoum uh, in the Republic of the Sudan, where just yesterday morning I was able to meet at the airport the last two of nine Christian refugees who we extracted from that country, um, the two patriarchs of these families having spent 18 months, the last 24, in prison essentially for providing foodstuffs and medicines to religious minorities in the south of that country. So I've tried very hard to respect the legacy of folks like the chairman of the subcommittee, Mr. Smith, and Congressman Wolf and, 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 and take that message and, and the opportunity to help afforded by the privilege of serving this body abroad. Having said that, let me differentiate as an admirer of Jefferson and someone who considers himself a Christian, although that um, degree to which I'm a good one is probably to be determined by an arbiter greater than myself, um, between my role as a member of Congress and my faith. and and. And that is that my job is to um, not enforce my faith and tenets on others, but to be an arbiter of that which is, which is within the purview of government at the federal level in the United States to the 1 435th um, fraction that I command responsibility for and the one half of two legislative bodies and one of three legislative branches. So I say these things not as a Christian, but as an American who has some responsibility vested by him, vested in him by the citizens of the Fifth District. There's no excuse for this. There's no excuse for a nation that's sought actively to put itself at the forefront of global justice and security for generations to stand idly by while one group of individuals is targeted, whether they be Yazidis or Christians or Jews or Muslims, what have you. And the silence is deafening. And those who choose not to act, I believe, and I'll step out of my congressional shoes for a moment, will be held to account once again by authority far greater than that which is manifest in this body.